interstellar object three i atlas comate object spacecraft space junk or whatever the heck it is i always say guys it keeps grabbing our attention with new stuff new images every day and it's getting stranger and more questions are added instead of being answered so imagine a mysterious visitor from another star system is drifting into our solar system that's what's happening right now and it doesn't behave like anything we've ever seen before neither us nor the scientists so it might be carrying both the ingredients for life and deadly poisons because there's new data about what it might bring with it guys and that's pretty uh interesting i say you be the judge if you find that scary or exciting so this thing could be something that we could call a cosmic gardener spreading life across the galaxy um, or how Avi Loeb named it it could be also a cosmic serial killer so he says gardener or serial killer we have to investigate that is it sowing destruction or is it spreading life because it can do both with the composition and with the stuff that they now found on it guys stay tuned it's going to be very very interesting the scientists can't decide is it a comet or is it something far more strange 3i atlas is what the scientists in their language call an interstellar object that just simply means it did not come from our solar system but somewhere else another star system far away it was discovered this year 2025 Many scientists say, yep, it's just a normal coal made, basically a dirty snowball made of ice and dust. Nothing more to see here. But when comates get close to the sun, the heat makes ice turn into gas. We call that sublimation. It releases that gas and dust into a fuzzy cloud around the solid core of the comate. And we call that the coma. That's the round fuzzy stuff that we see. If you hold a flashlight into fog, you can see the light bulb, you can see a coma. That's what it is, right? This is how comates behave in general. So, so far, that sounds all normal, except that 3i Atlas has not been acting normal. We have to talk about its chemical load, life's ingredients, and also poison. That is what has been detected. So what is inside interstellar whatever the heck it is 3i atlas makes things interesting but also alarming guys so scientists are using telescopes and they have detected methanol a simple chemical that on earth here on earth can lead to building blocks of life sugars amino acids um, things that life uses and they have detected hydro Gen cyanide that sounds like if you're watching a thriller movie right um that's a well-known toxin let's get back to methanol that sounds less threatening guys let's start with this so methanol of course is important because it can help build complex organic molecules um possibly even components of dna and rna so that's why some call 3i atlas cosmic gardener positively maybe spreading life's building blocks across space that would be um a beautiful interpretation but then hey come on hydrogen cyanide that's dangerous guys that's a powerful poison it's used in weapons for example on the other hand in tiny amounts similar chemicals on earth can play roles in biology as well so that's why 3i atlas could be delivering life-friendly chemicals or spreading toxic ones or both so that dual nature is what made one scientist's headline avi loeb friendly gardener or serial killer so that ambiguity life bringer or killer is part of its mystery. Atlas shows us so much weird behavior 
not like common comets, guys. But the chemical weirdness here is only the start. 3i Atlas behaves badly, so to speak, by comet standards. The scientists can't deny that. If we look at its coma, the gas and dust cloud around it, and the jets of gas and dust that are strongly sunward, I've talked about it in my last videos, they are sun blocked. Video will be in the end screen for you to see. That is very unusual. Normally, comets shed material away from the sun, and that material is blown outwards, forming tails that basically trail behind the comet or object and not towards the sun. So also, the pattern of gas and dust suggests the mixture is rich in carbon dioxide, CO2, and has less water than many comets that we know. Why is that? It's strange because most comets are more water rich, definitely way more. Speed and trajectory of 3i Atlas, how it moves has also raised eyebrows. Some scientists say they don't fit the just the normal comet model. I have listed all the anomalies for you. Check out my 3i Atlas playlist. We have probably 15 to 16 anomalies right now, guys. And if you like that stuff, please leave this video an early hype and like and share it with your friends. I'd be very thankful for that. Thanks for doing that. Um, all these oddities together make 3i Atlas already a serious outlier. Why are some scientists sounding the alarm saying this could be a Trojan horse, black swan, don't trust the first impressions? Well, we know that Harvard professor Avi Loeb is one of the most vocal scientists. He says that we should treat 3i Atlas like a blind date from another star. And if you're going on a blind date, you want to observe your date. You want to learn um, the most about your date. Is it friendly or is it dangerous? And he only says, guys, let's do that because we do not know for sure. He warns it could be a kind of like a Trojan horse, meaning something that looks innocent but hides danger. If you're an alien entity and you want to come undetected, yeah, that's probably what you would do. Or it could be a black swan, like so rare and unexpected that we're not ready for it. We're just not ready. So in short, we shouldn't assume it's harmless just because it looks like a comet. Its behavior is too strange to ignore because what we don't know about 3i Atlas and we know that we don't know, that makes it dangerous or exciting. So here's exactly what remains uncertain about 3i Atlas and why this matters. We don't know if this chemical mix, the methanol, the hydrogen, cyanide, the CO2, the dust, the metal content is natural for something that formed in another solar system or if it's intentionally engineered because we really can't compare. We don't know why it jets material towards the sun, sun locked, instead of away from the sun like comets usually do. That basically breaks the textbook physics for comets. It does. We don't know also 3i Atlas's real internal structure. What's going on inside? Maybe it's ice and dust. Maybe it's a metal rich rock. Maybe something else. Some scientists suggest it's metal bearing um, and carbon rich qualities are very unlike typical comets. And also how it's floating through our solar system is unusual and hard to explain if we think this is just a passive piece of rock and ice. How it changed trajectory while in perihelion and is now heading towards Jupiter, very precisely trying to meet Jupiter's hill radius. Percentage of that is close to zero that a natural comet does that. So we have these, how Avila pointed it out, two big possible stories, gardener or killer. The gardener theory, 3i Atlas carries methanol and other organic chemicals that are building blocks for life. That sounds really nice. 
If those chemicals get deposited in the right places, for instance, on rocky worlds, maybe they could help spark life. Maybe many such interstellar visitors have seeded planets across the galaxy with life's raw material. 3i Atlas could be just doing that. But the other theory, it, ca it carries poison. It carries hydrogen cyanide, a powerful toxin. Its jets and unusual behavior might dump those toxins into space, maybe even onto planets and other bodies. That could be harmful, right? Maybe sterilizing regions, killing existing life, or creating dangerous conditions. And doesn't even have to be alien technology. Could just be natural, but could be a problem, right? We need to study this. That's why Avi Loeb asked that dramatic question, is it a friendly gardener that's bringing life-building blocks or this cosmic serial killer that's spreading poison? For now, what most of the scientists say they think, are they really thinking that? That is the question, right? But there's also still doubt. Most scientists don't buy the serial killer probe idea. They say 3i Atlas looks like a comet, just an unusual one. Okay, then explain the anomalies. We have 15, explain them. They haven't tried that. Their argument is, it shows comet-like activity, the gas, the dust, the tail-like coma. Its behavior isn't obviously dangerous, no radiation, no signs of weapons or directed energy, no trajectory towards Earth. Yes, because when this thing was probably sent billions of years ago, there was no life on Earth yet. That's why it makes sense to go for the way bigger Jupiter. Yeah, they say it might simply be a comet from another star formed under different conditions with a slightly different chemistry, and that explains the oddities without invoking alien tech. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's why we need to wait for more data, but until we don't know 100%, and if we're going on a blind date with this thing, well, we should look very carefully and not trust it 100% without really knowing what's happening if we take that date home in our living room. And why could 3i Atlas change everything? That's what many scientists are saying. Well, if it's just a comet from another star, it is still incredibly valuable guys it could give us a peek into how other star systems build objects what kind of ices metals and mixtures they use that helps us understand planet formation guys beyond our solar system it might show that what we call the chemistry of life the building blocks is more widespread maybe guys than we thought Maybe life's raw materials can travel through galaxies and then seed it on planets that are suitable. Well, and the other version, if it's something more than just that natural comet, like an engineered probe, um, of course, then the implications are even bigger. It would mean technology from another civilization visited us. It would force us to rethink how carefully we watch the skies, how we treat interstellar visitors, not only as scientific objects, but possible alien artifacts. So either way, whatever the heck it is, 3i Atlas is already a game changer. Might be the strangest object that has ever been studied by astronomers. We don't have the answer yet, but we have questions. So. Watching 3i Atlas right now could teach us a lot more about the universe and maybe about ourselves. So let's keep our eyes on the sky and I'll be on the sky for you guys. I will keep you updated. I will try to find the answer for all our questions. And I hope you like this. Again, like and hype, share with your friends and check out the videos in the end screen. And I hope to see you there in a second. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, link is in the description. Bye-bye.